um, because indeed this um, it uh, consumes a lot of power and during uh, stuff like track drive or endurance uh, that can actually play a role. Oh, and we're lucky, Igor. They didn't use their uh, their fans or at least not at full power. Indeed, people get to hear us instead for the next six minutes. Well, it's quick enough though without even uh, using the fan. So. Uh, I'm not uh, really sad that they, uh, they're not using the fan because this is already uh, uh, quite impressive uh, performance uh, as far as we can tell. So yeah, it looks really, really good. Yeah, looking a little bit twitchy, probably figuring out where the, where the edges of the track are, where the limits are, calculating the optimum line to take on the subsequent laps. And I see a purple time. I'm going to check what it is. Yeah, it's at 32.69. Wow, uh, Mati, that's already uh, a very impressive time indeed. And uh, judging by the speed of the car, it's not uh, going slower either. So this might be an improvement upon improvement. And they uh, just hit a cone, which is an indication often of uh, the car going slightly faster. Um, it almost looks as if the, the driverless AI is having quite some fun. Uh, if you look closely in the middle section, um, it's actually the rear stepping out a little bit um, in the different switches. Hitting a few more cones here just in front of us. Um, and indeed improving. Oh, no, uh, my bad. And uh, they actually went a little bit slower uh, than their first lap. Interesting. Yeah, not really surprising. Obviously, it hit a couple of cones and uh, might slam the brakes a couple of times before uh, deciding to continue. Uh, navigating through the fallen cone uh, quite nicely uh, so far. And we see a couple of cones down, uh, but they're not really in the way. So let's hope it will not be a problem for, uh, for this car. And it's driving really human-like. Uh, again here, uh, right in front of us where the, one of the cones is, uh, is hit. Um, the car brakes, rear steps out, has to correct, uh, but just uh, continues straight on. Uh, the driverless car really having some fun. This is more or less how we would drive this car, uh, or any car, any, having a little bit of fun on a track like this. Uh, probably, uh, actually, the, this, uh, this AI is doing a better job than we would, uh, probably. <laughs> and it seems to have a little bit of a, an attitude as well, um, as it went quicker now. Maybe uh, we made some comments about it uh, being slower in the second lap, but they corrected for it. Um, and this was 31.1, uh, so that's also the best time uh, of the day. I think the, the fastest time we saw yesterday was a 30.3. Do you think we'll see any sub-30 second times? We might, but of course that's not uh, the most important thing on the track drive. Um, they did hit one of the blue cones here at uh, and the slightly broader hairpin. Let's hope that doesn't cause them any issues in the next lap. The car looking not quite as smooth as some of the other ones we've seen today but that's not preventing it from being the fastest one so far. Very, very impressive. Yeah, the last time around this was 31.9. Uh, absolutely no issues with navigating the uh, final chicane uh, where the cone is uh, out of position. So, uh, well done again. Uh, and still being very, very fast on track. That's uh, very impressive to see. Yeah, and it's a really interesting uh, AI as driving. Um, in, in contrast to other cars that uh, go uh, very consistent, uh, you can definitely see the car is trying to do different lines, trying to improve, and you also see that reflecting in the time. Yeah, it's very consistently in the 31 uh, uh, second uh, uh, window, 31.6 this time, before that it was 20, 20, 31.2. So very consistent, and in the end, that's what, you, what it takes to, uh, to put in a very good time on the uh, track drive. Uh, hitting another cone, uh, but so far that one is also not in the way. Uh, so let's hope it doesn't cause any further drama for them. It feels like the car slowed down just a, tid, just a tidbit this lap. You couldn't uh, be more wrong, Igor. They actually uh, beat the time uh, 30.98, uh, so 31 flat, let's say, um, on their um, eighth lap. This is their second to last lap. Can they break the 30 second barrier? Uh, but again, that's not the most important thing. The most important thing now is uh, for them to finish. It does seem to struggle a little bit on the final chicane because of the missing cone. But again, a very good time. 
uh, again an improvement to 30.94 even if it's only a couple of hundreds of seconds so I don't think we will make it below the, the 30 second but still this is every lap below the 31 mark or even in the 31 uh, second uh, window is a very impressive uh, feat indeed. And this is uh, coming to the finish. I wonder if it will slow down before the finish or do uh, what Milano did. And they come to a stop and we see a solid blue light. Wow. Big round of applause and uh, deservedly so. Uh, a massive uh, performance of the Zurich team. Uh, very well done. Clearly all team members.